you guys see this, you're gonna pants. You're gonna sh in your guys' pants when you see this. Look at this. Bass boys fishing. What up, guys? Bass boys here. We got Ryan here today. And we are fishing at a good place today. We haven't gotten any what we call jumbos out of here yet. So let's hope that the bite has started because we've been catching fish at other places, bigger fish. So we're hoping that they're gonna be biting here. I'm gonna start out here showing you my my gear that I'm gonna be using. Just this one is the ultralight St. Croix Panther series. Six foot ultralight and a Shimano Sedona 1000 using four pound test. Just put a new spool line on here. It was getting low. And it was making me cast not that far, so that should help. And then I have two other rods here that I'll show you when I use them, when I hopefully use them today, because sometimes I just use the ultralight and never get to the other ones because catching too many fish. So see how it happens here today. Well, Ryan just caught a bluegill on the first cast a little tiny one i ain't used to seeing bluegills that small because i was so used to like catching the bigger ones but here's the bait we're going to start with here you guys may know if you watch the channel a lot it's the bobby garland except for this is the swimmer it's got a paddle tail on it i really like this one over the regular bobby garland I actually ordered a lot of different uh, Bobby Garland products recently that I'll be getting in the mail soon, so we'll be able to do some tests with those. They look really good, I tell you. We're going to start out with this. Some water on my line because I don't want this line to fly off. It's brand new. Ryan's got another one. That's a bluegill. I saw it. Yeah. Nice. That thing's fighting harder than the bass. Crap. It's a nice bluegill. one. Nice bluegill. Yeah. This thing's fat as hell. Oh my god! You, you, oh my god! You should have seen the one I caught at the the other place. It was like not even joking. Like another three, four oh, inches. Peed on me. Man, that's a fat one. Here, unhook them and then hold them, see if you can hold them in your hand. Nice bluegill right there. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a nice one. That thing was peeing all over the place. Bluegills were able to grow to like five pounds like a bass. Those things would, they would fight even harder than a five pound bass. See, this is, there we go. I was gonna set the hook even harder, but I didn't know what the hell was going on. Dang, I think. I know, it's a little bass. It seemed like it was fighting hard. Yeah. It's weird, this line feels different than the other line. I like it a lot better. You using the new rod? No, this is the same ultralight rod. I'm just using different line. Because that fluorocarbon I was using before was getting old and crappy and wiry. There's this little bass. Make sure he's on video, even though he ain't really nothing to brag about. Probably four foot long when it came out completely. I got something nibbling on it. Probably a bluegill. Oh, that's another nice, I think it's another nice bluegill. Nice. Not the biggest, but Ryan was much bigger. Yeah, he's pretty small. Peeing all over me again. Really? I'm not, I'm not letting him pee on me. I'm pointing him in the other direction. Really? Yeah. 
trying not to squeeze them. As soon as I squeeze them, that's what happens. It's a little bluegill oh, right out of my hand. I'm gonna go over this corner over here real quick. I'm gonna have to tighten that. Big here, and all these lily pads in the way. This one. There we go. Got something good on. Let's see. Nah, he, he ain't that big. He ain't that big, but he's bigger than the other ones. I'm always thinking they got something good on. Put this rod until we really get something good on, and we'll know. There he is. A little little bass. All right, folks. Decided to bring out the new rod that I just got. Got it on a Megatron task cam spinning reel. And I'm using a Fenwick Eagle here. It's the moderate, fast action. It's a light. I like the feeling of it already. It's a little bit, you know, it's a good amount heavier dutier than the ultralight. Oh yeah. I really like it. Really like this already. Nice. Yeah, I like this rod. Yeah, it's nice. The reel is pretty nice too for as cheap as it was. It's about a 50 something dollar spinning reel. I don't know why. I kind of like casking stuff. You can just cast like a mile and I barely even flung it out there. I'm using a suffix nano filament on this setup here. Very nice line here for good casting, far casting, smooth casting. I don't know what this is, but it's like a swim bait. Good jig on the jig head. We're gonna get Ryan's perspective on it. The Fenwick Eagle. Yeah, it's not as flimsy as the ultralight, obviously. Yeah, it's a light. So it feels... You feel... It's just like... I don't know. It might be perfect. I think moderate is more for, like, crankbaits or something. I'm not sure what it's exactly is for. Try giving it a cast. Smooth casting. How's the real feel? Pretty good. Yeah, it's a good rod. Yeah, it's a Fenwick. So you wanted it? Did you say you wanted it or medium light? You said. Um, probably medium light. Yeah. So I mean. Can always look at a medium light Fenwick too. I mean, they're, I don't know, what is a St. Croix Premier, like 160 or something? Yeah, I mean, th this rod was only $79.99. Yeah, it's actually cheaper than what you're using. <laughs> at HMG, it was like 110 or something, I remember. Yeah, if you're interested ever in looking at on Amazon, this Megatron plus Cast King. I've always thought of casting as being like a cheap, very cheap uh, company. Cheap gear and stuff, just like looks chintzy. I mean, it is, but to be honest, it, it definitely, it's definitely pretty nice for the price. I think I paid 54 or something for the real one, I'm sure. I was like 49.99. 50 something but for that amount of money it ain't bad
this place is going to get. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah, that's a big bluegill. Yeah. Big old bluegill. Don't want him to pee on me. No, he is. Nice old bluegill here. I ain't grab, I ain't grab him like this. There he goes. What's that captain? He flopped as soon as I switched hands. Really? Yeah. All right, folks, we're bringing out the Legend Tournament bait caster. And we're also bringing out Booyah buzz baits. Ryan's got the white one, I'm using the black one. I got on here a quantum smoke. 200 size HD, smoke HD, and then of course the Legend Tournament rod, seven foot one, bass series. It's an old rod. I don't think they make this specific rod no more. This is bait casting. They don't make it no more, right? What? This seven foot one bait caster, bass series, Legend Tournament. No. Yeah, they don't make this no more. It's a nice rod, perfect for bass. We might get some fish today with something like this. Did it right, yeah. Like that? Yeah. Not like through that metal thing? No. Are you saying that as a joke? Because he did that at three oaks? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't remember when he did that. Guys, not too much luck here today. We're gonna go to a different place now. Oh, Ryan gets a fish as soon as I say bag. we're gonna leave. Be careful with that thing. I'm, I'm surprised that thing has not fallen off yet. <laughs> he must have hooked them good. I just turned the camera off, and it's funny. Like a 14 incher, maybe? 13 incher, 14 incher? Yeah. It's a little skinny, it's weird. Of course I hook him in a weird spot. Still think we should go? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's all right. I was expecting that. Big bass are not in this pond for some reason yet. They're somewhere else. They could be, could be anywhere. They could be down there. They could be, they could be in the lily pads, lily pad spot. And we don't got time for that. We want to be able to fish another pond today for Hopefully for smallmouth bass and maybe walleyes because we'll be, we'll be out as late as we can fish today. So, although it'll be hard to see then. But yeah, we're gonna head over there. And I'll pick up the camera when we get there. All right, guys, here we are. Back here. Gonna start out with the Bobby Garland again. Might as well. Can't walk in the water this time. Wearing regular shoes. Looking 
for the smallmouth bass out of here. That's what we're searching for. There's a fish. Yep. I don't know what it is. It's definitely pretty dang big. Oh, I think it's a smallmouth. <laughs> I think it is. Yep, it is. Yep. Heck yeah, man. Come on, don't break off. Nice one too. Let's go. Oh no, he's going no. away. <laughs> Holy crap, look at this fish. Look at this fish, the crazy, crazy yeah. bastard. Oh, he almost swallowed it though. Nice, B. Let's go. I was just saying we were looking for the small mouth. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. Let me, uh, I'll get this on video here. Here it is, guys. Nice. First small mouth of the year. And it's a nice skinny but he's he ain't like he's unhealthy or nothing finally got him out of here it's been a while but first cast i think there he goes are you kidding me After that shit show of a line screw up and I am quite pissed about it I literally just put a new line on here yesterday I think I may have overfilled it a little bit but I truly don't get how the hell that happened and I sure hope it doesn't happen again Oh, I got one. Oh yeah, it's by another smallie. I guarantee you it is. No, oh, it's just a drag. What is it? Oh, it's a walleye. <laughs> a little walleye. Nice, B. Got another walleye. picture of that one or yeah. no yeah you can take a picture he didn't get my line that's good we'll catch one of these during the day there are these guys nice nice little wall right there fighting. Looks like a little fish. Let's see if Ryan's getting fish over here. Getting any over there, Ryan? 
He's still there. I haven't got one yet. Oh, zero nibbles. <laughs> Oh, there's one. This could be another small mouth. I hope. It's biting pretty hard. Oh yeah, it's gotta be. If this is a if this ain't small mouth, it's gotta be a freaking good bass. Oh, it's, a, it's actually a large mouth. I thought that was a small mouth. Another large mouth, about the same size as that one we just caught. Let's try here, kind of to the right here. Oh, I got one. Oh, damn. First miss. Felt him again. There we go. I got it. Oh, I think it's a crappie. Oh, no, never mind. I think it's a bass. Yeah, it's a bass. Man, look at this weird bass. It's like silver. So weird. It's like weird color. And this mouth's like gold. This bass is so strange looking. Wow, it's like orange. It's like silver. I don't know, that's like some weird hybrid bass or what. Put another Bobby Garland on. It's ridiculous. You know what I might attempt here? I'm gonna try to go change it up here. Put that on. Oh, I got a hit. First cast with the gulp, guys. <laughs> First cast with the gulp. I got a hit. Bass. Large mouth. <laughs> That's so funny. You just put on a new bait. They just hit it. Frickin' win. Give the bug bait a try. I haven't used this all day here. Might be a small mouth. Definitely a good fish. Mm, that's a large mouth. I think. Yeah. It's a large mouth bass. Large mouth fighting like a small mouth. 
If you could see them. Holy shit. Oh my god. That is the biggest freaking bluegill I've ever seen. Holy smokes. Look at this. <laughs> you guys see this, you're gonna shit your pants. You're gonna shit in your guys' pants when you see this. Look at this. You believe that? This thing is probably a pound. Frick. <laughs> Holy smokes. Look at this bluegill. Get a real good one. Massive. <laughs> I'm trying it again. A massive bluegill. I thought I caught the biggest one here before. Freaking, that thing was like double the size of the other one. Ryan just had a fish on, it broke off. You want to tie another one? No, not really. Yeah, it almost just fell. Second place we went to is not good for me. What uh, what do you think you missed? I don't know. It's probably something good. Yeah, maybe, maybe, it. maybe a walleye, maybe a smallmouth. We don't know. We'll never know. Yeah, pretty good day. Uh, first place for me wasn't too great. You know, we don't cover and get caught. Heck, did I catch a couple bass or something? Bluegill. But, yeah, right at the end there, I caught like this freaking huge bluegill. It had to be like a pound. Yeah. <laughs> not like not even joking. I think it had to be like a pound. I thought I caught the biggest bluegill in a uh, video before, but I was wrong. There was even a bigger one. So it's always bigger fish than you think. So other than that, great day. Hit the subscribe button the like button on the video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bad boys. Fish.